check, 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 check. Right on guys, today we are, uh, we are doing a fly tying kit. Um, these are really good for people that want to learn how to uh, tie different flies, different routine of a fly. Um, so, kind of like do something different, you know? Uh, I get these fly tank kits from BWC, and I find they're it's just nice because you know you're not if you don't know what fly you want to you want to make or um, such then and you don't want to end up with all this uh, extra feathers extra size of hooks or whatever this is really good because you know you can tie five or six of them and then you can tie five or six of them you can use them you can lose them you know and then if you want to buy more if you want to if you like this style of fly it works really well for you you can buy different you can buy all the all the material for it and such but um yeah this is a predator fish redfish gts pike peacock bass largemouth smallmouth bass i'm reading it off the back but any predator fish any predator saltwater fish freshwater fish guarantee you'll go after it you know depending on the time of the day and such so but yeah Another talk shit tie flies. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just nice that, just nice to, to chat and to talk about tying flies and fly fishing. Stick this on there. But yeah, so basically, basically, I think my next video is going to be, and I think I'm gonna bait fish for Murray Cod. We're gonna do some fly fishing here soon, but it's also um, time. It's not money. It's just time, time and work away from work. So, but uh, all come in time. But until then, we're gonna tie some flies. Well, I hope everyone out there is having a good day, good night, or good evening, or afternoon, or whatever, or good morning. Um, yeah, just hope everyone's kind of having, chasing what they wanna chase in life, doing what they wanna do in life, cause I am. Um, you know, obviously there's work and everything, but Outside of work, you know, my dog, fly fishing, hunting, stuff like that. I'm just trying to craft my life on how I want it, you know, in a way. So yeah, we're just gonna basically put this base layer of line down. Yeah, it's right now it's about 9.30 in the morning for me. It's um a little early, nothing nothing too severe. So when you want to do this, you always want to make sure when you always pick the material from here, you always want to make sure. Cause you have what, six flies you can make out of this. You always wanna make sure you kinda of leave yourself six. They're really good because they, they give you good enough material for enough for um, uh, for what you need. They're like, generally it's these, these they're really good. So, we're gonna. I don't know, it just seems like it's long, you know? It just doesn't seem like it. Yeah, 
interesting. Huh, whatever. Um, yeah, so basically, put on another layer, and it's really good. These actually, these fly tying kits, they come with photos. So you can kind of follow the steps and such, so. But I bet you guys are wondering the what's this doing here? So this is a story here. Um, I thought I'd just kind of share a story here. It's kind of cool. It's one of those things that you know happens to you in life that you kind of you'll never forget, and it's just kind of uh, you built like me out of this one. You know, it's it's definitely strengthened my relationship with uh, with the, with a couple people through this um so this right here the trophy well it's a prop actually it's a steel prop has one blade sheared off and a few, few blades sheared off and it has a reef runner so this they called me the reef runner um because i like to hit rocks when i was guiding up in northern ontario in canada um this prop right here was basically, uh, this is my third prop, maybe? Might have been my third prop. Yeah, because I just ended up hitting rocks all the time. Bad luck, I don't know, it's, it's with guests too. It's just, it, this one was with the guests. So anyways, I hit a, I hit a rock, no, so, not through this incident, but through the friendship, through guiding, yeah, I explained that one wrong. Anyways, I'll tell you another story after this one. Anyway, um, so I hit this with the rock, and they figured it was a ward night at the lodge, and they figured they would paint this up. Zach would paint this up, and then um, would would give it to me as a gift, as a trophy, because I like hitting rocks. This was my third. I think it was my third rock I hit. There's a few rocks I hit that I didn't. I didn't tell the boss because I just had it. I just, it was one of those things, one more rock and I was out of there. So, um, it's kind of one of those moments where, uh, was re it's really cool because who gets an award for, um, hitting a rock, you know, for, as a guide, it's kind of weird, but you know, it's just one of those things where friendships build and, you know, it's, shit happens and stuff like that. So, um, I miss guiding. I, I really do. I want to. I want to take more people out fishing uh, for fly fly fishing or whatever. Just you know, just to teach people how to fish and such, such bait fishing or whatever. Just because I I just believe that fishing has changed my life in all different aspects. Um, fly fishing, casting, bait fishing, it don't matter. Fishing to me is fishing. I don't really have my favorites. I do and I don't. I have moments that I like more. But anyways, yes, yeah, Zach made this for me. My dad brought this. This was this and this is also too this trophy here, I'm surprised they didn't have it. My dad came out for the wedding. He brought this this thing this thing's steel. And the reason why is very unique because it's a steel prop and usually when you hit prop rocks with steel props they break and they shatter um so it, they were very impressed that it didn't fuck the, the lower end of the motor or that area and uh, just because it is a steel prop and it's i didn't know it's steel prop when i had it on but anyways it's it's a steel prop it weighs a lot and i'm very surprised my dad even brought it out to me you know because luggage and all that flew out here for my wedding and such so i just found it very cool so gonna add some more glue we got some glue to this just so then it keeps it you know but yeah Yeah, so the other story I was trying to, not trying to, I kind of almost intermingled, but it's not the same story. It all got struck by lightning. Um, and they pulled me, John and Zach, two guides, 
they pulled me off the, the, the lake. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I don't know if I'd be here today if it was, maybe I would have, you know, maybe I would have made it, you know, I would have made it in a way where, you know, I just, it would have worked out. But to my knowledge and, you know, of like how I was and what happened, like as you get struck by, because we're bear bait and because we're guiding bears at the time. And yeah, so we're bear, I was bear baiting and they were kind of like, how about let's not, how about let's not go on the, they tried, they tried to say not go on the lake. But I was like, nah, I gotta get this bear bait out for the guests and stuff like that. So it was kind of one of those moments where I shouldn't have been on the lake. Um, but I obviously was stubborn and didn't want to listen. So they, yeah. So because of that, they pretty much saved my life. Um, and it's just one of those moments that you'll always remember because I will, because I don't know if I'd be here today if it was, for, if it wasn't for them, you know, I, I might've, but I, I, in the condition I was at, I don't think so. After getting hit by lightning, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things where it's, I don't really ever talk about it. I just figured it was, it's kind of a cool, it's kind of a unique story, but I don't talk about it to people because when you bring it up or you say something about it, you just, you kind of feel weird. You kind of feel weird because it's like you can't relate to, you can't explain it to someone and for it to relate to anyone. So that's why I've kind of like, I don't really talk about it much, but it's also unique. It's different, it's unique, and it's part of my story and everyone has a story, so. So yeah, that's another story. I got lots of stories, but, but I think a lot of people do. So that right there, doesn't look too bad. Put some glue on here. It's the popper head. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get that purple guff. And this is why you melt. This is why you melt that. This is why I take the lighter to this. This pokey, th pokey thing. Like I said, I don't like. I've, I don't know all the tools names. I just I'm self taught for fly fishing. I've actually never had anyone show me anything. I've just had to always learn myself. And YouTube wasn't around when I first started. Well, it might have been. I was eight. Seven, when I first time flies, self-taught everything. Like this, this gets hot when you pull it through the the, the double barrel popper head. It uh, it heats up and it melts, so it has that consistent hole all the way through. And then you take guff, and then you seal up the hole. Seal up this hole, so then water doesn't get in and shit so and it's just another way to yeah tire like keep the double barrel popper head because i don't have adhesive glue right now i did i should for this but i don't have it right now oh yeah by the way you gotta watch out where you watch out where you shine this like because if you have the guff open and you have it laying somewhere and you shine the, the light on the guff, the shit will turn hard and your cap won't, it'll be hard. And it just, it, it's like, it'll actually harden up the first layer of guff on top of this bottle. And then you kind of like, you poke a hole at the bottom, siphon out the rest or something. Because this shit is not cheap. It can be if it's on sale. Like I got this, but it lasts forever. I got, you get like usually 50 to 60 bucks. 
Australian, but I got my one before for, oh wow, well, best before 12, 2023. Well, it's past its due date, but it will last for a long time. But I got mine for 20 bucks because I like I like shopping for the on the sale. But anyways, it's the eye time. So here's another thing. I fucking hate people that tie flies and they cheap out putting glue on the eye hole because you're gonna make this fly, it's gonna bounce off rocks. It 100% it definitely will bounce off some rocks. And the first thing that usually goes, guess what, are the eyes. And then what, you, you're casting a fly, an ugly fly that has no eyes. I just hate fly tires that don't put glue of some sort on the eyes to keep it on. Like that fucking pisses me off. It's like, you're gonna tie this fly, and I get it cheap, but it, it, it takes no glue at all. They're like, they just, they cheap, they cheap out on the, on the material themselves. I just, I don't know what it is. It fucking drives me nuts. Oh, I'm starting to wake up here. But it, 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 yeah, it just, it just drives me nuts. Um, cause why, why, why are you cheaping out? You're going to tie a good fly, a beautiful fly. And then what? And then, you, and then it's just, you're going to have the eyes come off. You know, that's, it's, I don't know. It's just kind of embarrassing. So, so I always do that. It's like my thing is like, I don't rely on the sticky part of the eye to, um, keep, stay on the fly. It's, because it'll, it'll come off. Like, let's, be, let's just be real. But yeah, I don't know. I just hope everyone's kind of chasing their dream out there, really. It's kind of one of those things where... I'm starting to realize, the older I get, the more I realize that... Everyone's kind of doing the same thing. Not doing the same thing, but... We're all kind of trying to do the same thing. We're we're trying to survive. We're trying to we're trying to do the best we can to enjoy the stuff we love doing and for family and you know take care of this person that person and we're we're kind of here there everywhere. It's like this world has sped up where we're like obligated to like move at a faster pace just because we're trying to keep up with the Joneses and it's just fucking drives me nuts. It's just, I, I don't get it. But, um, but yeah, it's just like everyone's trying to, but it's like, and then there is a right and wrong in life. And it's just, it's like that, that's another topic. That is a fucking rabbit hole and a half. But it's like, people are ignoring what's actually right and what's actually wrong nowadays. It's like, we have to accept other people's beliefs. And it's not even beliefs. Sometimes Sometimes other people are fucking wrong. Like, like some people are actually fucking wrong. I just, I don't get it. It's just like, but they're like, no, we got to respect their opinion. It's like, no, some people are actually fucking wrong. Like there is a right and wrong a lot of times. And some people are just straight up wrong. You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, people that can't be wrong nowadays are held accountable for being wrong nowadays. I just, so... But that's a whole new topic. That's just. But I think everyone's just trying to survive. Everyone's trying to figure out what they like doing and stuff like that. And you know, I like this right here, fly tying. I fly fishing, hunting, and I've just known this at a younger age. But like in general, I'll still try new shit. But I'm starting to less because I'm starting to realize that putting more time into the stuff you truly enjoy and in family it's kind of like we only have so much time on this earth and it's kind of like you got to make it worthwhile you know you know just put your time where you need it you do oh and while you're doing this guff while you're shining this uh light just make sure it hardens um you can feel it being sticky sometimes you might have to do a couple flashes and such so but this glue is absolutely i've used this glue for for um 
for other stuff other than fly tying. It, it works really well. It's like cement. It's like the stuff they put in your teeth. Okay, so I'll tell you another thing here. I bought. I actually bought. <laughs> I bought. I actually bought this because I was like painted popper heads. I was like, no way. I'm gonna buy this and I'll just tie my own fly or tie my own style of fly, or whatever. Um, nope. Not painted pop reds, as you can see. Um, just white. Um, yeah, just white pop reds. Whatever. They're predator flies, saltwater flies, you know, GTs, pike, peacock bass, large mouth, small mouth, such and such, such and such. But I buy this stuff, BWC flies. They have nothing to do with this video. I just buy my gear for them. And they, they, or they send you shit right away. So like, you're not waiting. So, and the most expensive part of this whole box, I would say, are either the popper heads. Mm, got some glue right there. Popper heads or the eyes. Yep, most expensive part. What is this, slime? It's weird. The spit. It's like semen. It's joking guys. <laughs> it's not. Um yeah, so the eyes are the most expensive part, but you actually get more eyes. So you you get enough. Like I'll end up with like probably four popper heads worth of like eight individual eyes left over um in a pack. So like I have extra fly eyes from other but like these are expensive. Like out of the whole lot like this is not expensive like the hooks aren't expensive they're not that great of quality so it's like out of the whole lot the eyes and the popper heads the popper heads you'll use up the eyes you'll have leftovers so you end up getting leftover of stuff so like these are really good they're really good i like buying them even though i like to tie certain flies i like to use they're really good to to um to buy you know they have like easy pictures you know enough well well over enough material if you're not done with it but yeah well i just hope everyone's you know doing what they love doing just get out there and just do shit it's not even about doing this this is what i like doing you know some people might not like doing this you got to get out and just do shit. Just, just go do stuff. Go see something, you know? Like after this, I'm going to go do something else completely different. I'm not going to be anything fly fishing. I wish, but I'm going to do, do something else just cause it's just live, just life, just live life. So it's just one of those things where it's like, just go out and do stuff. You know, if you, if, if you don't truly enjoy this video, don't watch it. But I'm going to make other tie shit, talk shit and tie fly videos, stuff like that. So, but that's what I'm going to do. Just tie some flies, talk some shit, tell some stories. I've got a lot of stories. I've just done a lot of shit. So, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And just go do something that you enjoy doing. Because that's basically what I'm doing. I, and I just find that if you just do more of what you enjoy doing in life, you end up a bit more happier Unless it's not hurting someone else or other people and such like that, you know, but just generic doing shit you love doing, find more time to do that and just do it and you'll be happy. It's fucking pretty simple. So right now guys, we'll have fun and um, yeah, got some, got a new fly and uh, yeah, we'll end up trying, we'll end up testing it out. So soon, one day we'll, I'll make a video of it, something, I'll tie it at the beach will cast for gts or something but a lot of cool ideas coming up just time just making that time you know so right on guys peace out have fun